one of the, oh my goodness, look who we have here, hello. Okay, the camera's doing a little bowing, little bow down to the man. Welcome, come on in, Philip. Hi, it's great to be here, Rita. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you know, we got to see that presentation, and let's, let's show the survivor, Oz. In fact, I want to show Philip signing the poster live. Would you do that for us? Absolutely, would love to do it. There it is. The autograph of the moment. There it is. So in the meantime, I will keep doing the introduction that we're here for to raise funds for Michelle's place. And we had such a wonderful presentation yesterday. What makes you take the time from your busy life to want to come to this charity? What's your here? Well, you know, my, I, I'm a, my mother actually succumbed to cancer. And it wasn't breast cancer, but she died of lung cancer. And so in 2011, when Julian asked me the first time to come out and support this worthy cause, I immediately said, yes, I do it. Uh, and this, once again, she made the call to what I come out because basically she put together this wonderful event to help women who are going through a very, very difficult time in their lives. Sometimes they, you know, they have no place to turn to, they have no network, and they've been told they have breast cancer, right? And some of them have to go through and get chemotherapy and they find that they're going to lose their breasts or all their hair is going to fall out because of the, the therapy that they're going through. And Michelle's Place provides these people with what they need from the support network, people they can interface with, they care about them. As you know, the family, Michelle, actually succumbed to cancer when she was only 26 years old. Yes, yeah, unbelievable. 23. 23 years old. She got news and for three years. She, you know, she endured as fought best she could. She fought it. And, and her legacy, they started, this, they started Michelle's Place. And so for me to take a moment out of my life to come down and participate with the band to help raise money for such a worthy cause, I can't imagine a better thing to do when you get a little bit of celebrity from being on a reality show. You know? Right? That's right. I couldn't agree with you more. And now, speaking of, back to the reality show and a little bit talking about the fight. So we're fighters here from Survivor. Bringing it back to, yes, Survivor Oz. Yes. Tell me your thoughts on what's happening right now in the season. I'm not allowed to discuss anything about the current season. Um, and so I can't do that. I can just tell you, you know, that when I played in Redemption Island, you know, people got yes. to see how I played and what type of strategy I deployed there. Right. And um, they're getting an opportunity to see me again in fans versus favorites. That's right. Now tell me a little bit about, you did get a chance to do it again. Right. So now there's a lot of us that have that, that famous woulda, coulda, shoulda. Right? Right. So now, when you go back a second time, I know that we all think that we're going to go back and, and play out our woulda, coulda, shoulda. Do you really do that? Or or what happens? Well, if some it, new circumstances play out and you leave, do you leave with a whole new set of woulda, coulda, shoulda? I don't know. Because in my case, I was not somebody who actually, um, I was fortunate to be invited to come play Survivor the first time. I was, out doing, I was doing what I do every day, which is I roller skate. And I was out having a great time when I was stopped by uh, Mrs. Spillman and said, you know, you ought to consider being on our show. I did some research on it and thought, you know, as a 50-year-old plus man, can I come out here and play this and game this and happen. potentially dominate it? Well, you and I, by the way, have a similar story because I, too, was recruited uh, doing what I do in the beauty pageant world at the time as a coach, yeah. and and I was close to being a 40-year-old woman yeah. and thought, well, wow, can I make this happen? So we just found a little little bonding absolutely, going on, absolutely. little bonding little going on live here on Survivor Oz, yeah. Rita and Philip bonding. That's right. <laughs> and so, you know, for me, and then, uh, you know, to get invited back uh, uh, again, I mean, there were uh, other times I probably could have participated, but I, it just the timing wasn't right for me. Um, and so when this season came along and I was asked to participate, I jumped at it. Um, I, I frankly love the show. I love Survivor. I love CBS. And, and, and in particular, I love what they're able to do in storytelling. Um, I feel like there should be an account. Uh, you know, I think I read an article with Mark Burnett participated in Esquire magazine where he talked about, you know, he didn't necessarily agree with the moniker reality TV, you know, in, in, in conjunction with the 
his shows because he feels like what they do is they tell a story and they do a beautiful job of it and I don't feel like the the uh, the editors frankly get the credit that they deserve I mean we see I you know, agree in, with you in there. major television shows and film productions they go back and look behind the people that are putting the production together the people that are out there the, the producers that are out there putting the show together and I think they've done a fabulous job I whenever I watch you. any season of Survivor so you get an opportunity to participate in that it gives me some celebrity makes me quote a reality star or personality right to come, well, out to to come and do like this. things like it's this wonderful Absolutely. and frankly it's, it's it's that magnificent team the collaboration between you know Mark Burnett's company Sega Entertainment uh, and uh, and uh, CBS pulling it all together to make a wonderful television for the last 13 and a half years I agree with you I think the editors get a bum rap yep. uh, I think it's amazing what they do I I'm in that line of work as a TV host and and recently becoming a news anchor and I have had to put together just my demo reels and that's where I earned a whole new respect for our editors on Survivor. That's when I stopped saying, I wish they didn't edit me or they did edit me like that. Whatever. Right. So I applaud you. you. I applaud you for applauding them. You know, one of people, a lot of times people come up to me and ask me, well, what did you think of the edit? Yeah. Well, for me, if, if you're asking me that question from the standpoint, does it define me as a human being over the entirety of my life? What I do today in my life? No, I don't look at it that way. I look at it from, hey, do we get the story right? You know, looking at the current season, looking at the current group of people that are out there, did they get the story right in terms of making it wonderful entertainment, making it that people are glued to their TV, hating characters, loving characters, just like in a book, in a movie. You know, some characters you see die, your heart is taken. Others you go, yeah! in the movie, right? So for me, that's what Survivor is and that's what other reality productions are. When they do it right, you feel like you participated in a process that's wonderful, you were entertained, and to be one of the participants in it, it's wonderful. That's right. I couldn't agree with you more. Philip, thank you so much for everything, for the time you're taking to be here. Yep. Have a great time. Go and apply some of that Survivor strategy at those uh, at the rally. Absolutely. Okay, and I'll see you at the finish line. Thank you. Thank you, everyone on Survivor Oz. Stay tuned for more Hello interviews. Hello to all the fans out there. Thank you. Lots of love from Philip for Survivor Oz. Don't go away from me right now.